Hey, Psst. come here. I want to show you something. Check this out. Well, how in the world is he doing that? That's amazing. Well, with my AC powered variable control desktop power supply, that's how. This has been on my desk for years. Look at the size of it. Yes, sir. It's about the size of uh, two bricks. So when Toolkit RC offered to send me a 200 watt, 10 amp power supply, that was one quarter of the size. I was pretty excited. Not to mention, it's ACDC. All right, so let's talk about ACDC. Uh, the existing power supply that I have on my desk is AC only, which means uh, I'm only using it when I'm near an outlet. Uh, this guy right here is also AC, but he's also DC, which means if I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I've got a battery charger, such as something like this that we're gonna take a look at in a little bit, I can charge, say for example, my smaller batteries, smaller guys like this, okay, with this sucker right here. Pretty cool, huh? Out in the middle of nowhere. I can I can use this battery with this power supply and do anything out in the field that my existing power supply does. Now, specs are going to be a little bit different, of course. All right, I hate reading specs to people because you can read yourself, but anytime I neglect to include specs, I always hear about it in the comments. The main takeaways here is that when you've got an AC input, uh, you've got up to 100 watts. When you've got a DC input, you've got up to 200 watts, okay? I am also not a fan of unboxing videos, so I'm not going to do an unboxing for you. As a matter of fact, this is the box, and I've taken all the stuff out of it already, but I'm still going to show it to you. All right, so as for the unit itself, it is very solid. Um, it feels good in your hand. It feels pretty heavy. You could throw it at somebody and, and, and hurt them pretty good. Um, I don't recommend that, but uh, but you could. It feels good in your hand. So here's the front right here. You got your volt side right here and your amp side right there. These uh, jog dials, whatever you want to call them, are uh, nice and solid. They're good. Uh, flip it over to the back side. You got a little fan. You got your AC in. Uh, you got your power. Uh, one one thing about this thing is, is when you run an AC, you've got um, power button here. And you got a power button here, so there's that. And then uh, you also have your DC in, which is a uh, XT60. And that input is 7 to 28 volts. So uh, we got a little fan right there. And flip it over to the front, and we've got our USB-C output. Run it to a phone, and that's also how you do a firmware update. Firmware updates, by the way, super simple. Uh, plug the sucker up into your computer. It'll pop up like a hard drive. You go to the Toolkit RC website, get the latest firmware, and it's a drag and drop. Very simple. Stupid simple. So there is that as well. As far as what comes in the box, obviously you get the unit itself. Here's some different angles. I could put this on a rotisserie and, uh, and shine pretty colorful lights on it, but I'm not going to. A um, couple other things you get, uh, obviously... Uh, these are banana plugs right here. So uh, you got this also comes with it. You put your banana plugs in there and then you've got some um, alligator clips right here. And it also comes with an XT60 with an unterminated, unterminated. So you could basically do whatever you want with this, uh, with this other end, whatever floats your butter biscuit. All right. So let's fire it up and see what it does. And you know what? Let's fire it up in DC mode. One of the things that I neglected to talk about a few minutes ago was uh, how in the world did this thing get away with being so powerful and being so small? And uh, it's powered by this GAN, which is gallium nitride. And I'm not going to pretend to have any clue as to how all this stuff works. Um, but basically, uh, here's a write up right here. I'll leave the, uh, uh, the link uh, for this website in the description below, but in a nutshell, and I'm going to read to you, it's a very hard, mechanically stable, wide band gap semiconductor. I'm not going to try to pretend to know any more than that. All right, I'm zoomed in on the unit, and I'm going to go ahead and press this button, turn it on. We get a quick burst of fan, and you can see the numbers. The information uh, across the top is pertaining to the USB, and we don't have anything going on right now there. Down here, uh, this is going to be your volts. So let me go ahead and quick press. Now we're getting some live readings here. Uh, 21.6 is our current voltage. Zero is our current amperage. 
Uh, these little numbers in black here and here are our settings. So I can increase the voltage or decrease the voltage uh, and same with the amps. All right, so those are our settings and this is our current uh, voltage and then this is a graph of uh, voltage over time. When we get into the menu we just long press on the volt button and you can see there's a back step voltage, step current, curve time, lowest input. I like this lowest input setting because if I'm charging something off of a LiPo, obviously we don't want our LiPos going all the way down, so I can set a lowest input voltage and it will shut off and not ruin the LiPo. Safe temp. All right, so there's backlight. Beep, you can hear the beeps. You can set the beep to a different tone or you can make the beep go away. And language and theme style. Here's the theme style white. I can switch it to dark like that. I think uh, for purposes of the video, I think it's a little better white. All right, so there's that. And then I, to get out of the menu, I can either scroll all the way back up or I can long press again and hit it one more time to get some live data. Over here, this amp button right here, if I press it, that is giving me my USB output information. Obviously, I'm not doing anything with the USB, so there's no information there as of right now. Press it again and I'm back to my live data. So there you have it, the P200 by Toolkit RC, a power supply, uh, 100 watts AC, 200 watts DC, max 10 amps. Uh, let's take a look at a practical application of this thing. So if we zoom out some, so I still am going to use my DC source. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring in a battery charger and say I'm out in the field in the middle of nowhere and I'm flying and I want to top off a battery. I can use this battery to charge this battery out in the middle of nowhere. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to grab our banana plugs. I'm going to turn it off first. Turn it off. Red to red. Always make sure you got your polarity right. Black to black. And this is going to go in here, like so. And then the battery I want to charge. All right, and then let's go ahead and turn this guy on so that he's generating power. And then we've got to come over to this guy right here. And you can see battery type LiPo, cells set to auto. We want to charge it, 4.2, 3 amps. Let's take that down a little bit. two amps and then hit start and we're off to the races all right so here we are everything together um, I added a multimeter to the circuit to measure the current and it looks like it's right in line with the toolkit RCP 200 all right, and uh, just taking a quick look at this Toolkit RCM7 multi charger. It's a 200 watt 10 amp charger. Uh, you can see the basic information here in terms of volts. That's uh, current current battery voltage. This is amps coming from the power supply. And if we roll or jog this over, you can see we've got all of our cell information for each cell. And if we use the scroll wheel over, we can take a look at this information. I think that's milliohms. I don't know. I'm not an electrician guy, but you can choose uh, how you want the data to look. If I go ahead and go out and I go into the menu, I long press on this button right here. All right. We just took a look at measuring resistance, but check this out. Measuring PWM signals. All stuff that you could do right here. Signal output, ESC test, and I should mention that if we pull this little square away, and once that square is pulled away, you can see that there are inputs uh, for servos. All right, so there it is. It's the Toolkit RCP200 AC-DC power supply. One quarter the size of my existing power supply and powered with gallium nitride. All right, so in conclusion, this is a very cool little combo to have. 
Check the description below if you'd like to pick up either the uh, P200 or the M7, both by Toolkit RC. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. I got many, many, many more videos to come. I'm Steve, checking out. See ya.